So we're solving for x on this one. The absolute value of 2x minus 7 plus 11 equals 78. So, like I said before, we've got to solve for the absolute value first. We'll need to subtract 11 from both sides. And that gives us the absolute value of 2x minus 7 equals 78 minus 11, uh, 67. Then I need to split this up into two equations. The first one will be positive, 2x minus 7 equals the positive 67. And the other one, still 2x minus 7, but this equals a negative 67. That's better. Then we're just solving these two equations for x. So I'll add 7 to both sides here. And we got 2x equals 74. Divide both sides by 2. And x equals 37, I think. I think that's good. Now, on the other hand, we got this 2x minus 7 equals negative 67. Add 7 to both sides. And we got 2x equals negative 60. Divide both sides by 2. And x equals a negative 30. That's a, what the heck is that garbage? Negative 30. And there's my two answers. <coughs> yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, we do have to subtract that 11 first. Because otherwise it will change. Well, it changes everything there. No, that first one. Yeah, keep in mind, that is something I see a lot on tests specifically. And unfortunately, if I see that you're not getting the absolute values by itself, there's only a limited amount of credit I can give you, all right? So make sure that you understand we need the absolute value by itself like we did right here in the middle, okay?